so this is an introductory video to the Pico CTF platform. This video is going to go in depth about how to sign up for Pico CTF and also how to better utilize the Pico CTF platform for your cybersecurity journey. To start off, let's click on picoctf.org. If you want to sign up for Pico CTF, click on login, sign up, and fill out the information below. Keep in mind that some of the information is optional, meaning you don't have to fill it out if you don't want to. This information is actually collected since Pico CTF is a part of Carnegie Mellon University. And we do research about who's using the service that we provide here. Um, this research is then utilized to provide better content and enhance our cybersecurity outreach. If you do provide this information, all identifiers will be removed from the research. So nothing will be traced back to you. All right, let's actually explore the Pico CTF platform. If we click on practice, we're gonna land in the Pico gym. All these problems are from Pico CTF and previous competitions that we had. We can filter these problems on what we wanna explore. Maybe we wanna learn about web exploitation today. And tomorrow we wanna to learn about binary exploitation. But keep in mind that the more points that the problem has, the harder the problem is gonna be. Stoinks only worth 20 points is gonna be way easier than Soulfire worth 500 points. Let's say we don't wanna learn a specific problem, but instead go through previous events that Pico had. I wanna go through problems that was released from Pico CTF 2022. And we can go through each of these problems. So let's actually solve a problem within the Pico gym. Let's start with obedient cat, since it's the first problem. The description says this file has a flag in plain sight, AKA in the clear. Download file. If we click on download file, the file will be downloaded to our local machine. Well, let's say I don't really want to download it to my local machine, but I still want to solve the problem. No worries. Pico CTF provides our web shell. A web shell is basically a computer program that allows us to control our operating system. And an operating system is basically a way for us to communicate with the computer without having to speak the computer's language. In order to fully utilize the web shell, we'll have to enter in our Pico CTF username. My Pico CTF username is Pico CTF user 12. Then we'll have to insert our password characters will be hidden. AKA, as you type in your password, you're not gonna see what characters are being um, written in. As you can see, I typed in my full password, but you couldn't see what my password was. Now that we're in the web shell, let's say I wanna know what commands I can utilize within this web shell. We can use less, tilde backspace, readme, txt. This will bring up a, basically a small tutorial of how to utilize our command line or our web shell better. We can utilize commands like ls to list the current file, uh, list the files in our current directory, cd to change our directory, cat to read the contents of a text file, control c to terminate a running program, and so on and so forth. In addition, we can also utilize the web shell to actually take files from these CTF problems and interact with them within our web shell. So let's do that for obedient cat. In order to download the file within our web shell, we'll just right click and click copy link. After that, we'll use the wget command within our command line. wget uh, control shift V and there you go. We have, and click enter, and there you go. We have now our file within our current directory. In order to double check, we can use the ls command to double check whether the file is within our current directory. Now, I want to open the file since I want to see what it is. So let's use cat flag dot one. Oh, and there we go. We got our first Pico CTF flag. So let's, highlight over it, go into here and paste, submit flag. And we have earned five points. Now that we solved a problem within our Pico CTF, if we wanna log out of the web shell, we can click this reload web shell terminate or just enter in exit in order to log out. And after 15 minutes of idle session, the web shell is gonna automatically log you out.
However, if you come into PICO CTF without any prior knowledge of how to solve these problems, don't worry. PICO CTF can help you with that too. Just click on the playlist section. The playlist section basically is just a collection of challenges to help students learn about a particular topic. Today, I want to learn a little more about forensics and CTFs. Once clicking upon it, we are introduced with a video that should give us some idea of how to solve the next problem set, like information. However, if you are still lost, don't worry. We have a couple hints right next door to help you solve the challenge. Look at the details of the file, or make sure to submit the flag as PICO CTF brackets. Let's talk about other sections within the PICO CTF platform. Within the Compete section, we can see current competitions or upcoming competitions that PICO CTF is holding. Within the Classroom section, teachers can create new classrooms for their students. And then students can join a classroom by inserting the invite code. In addition, if you still have some questions about some cybersecurity principles, you can go into Learn Resources to view our online lecture series. If you want to join our community, go into Learn Community to join our Discord server. If you want to learn about Pico Primer, go into Learn Primer to learn a little more about Pico Primer. If you want to learn more about CTFs and Pico CTF in general, then continue on our YouTube page. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good